Good morning, San Francisco. So I work as an artist and, uh, uh, artist and researcher at Ars Electronica. And uh, wait, I'm missing one key piece of information, how to press forward on the next slide. Great, thanks. That's me. So I'm talking about folding equals coding for matter. Most of you will know the art of origami. Origami for me is coding for paper. And yeah. Oh, thanks. Perfect. So I make artwork in this research field of folding and technology. And so I use folds as a programming language for materials. So what does that mean? Well, here's a really, really quick introduction. So watch the screen very carefully, open your eyes very wide, and do not blink. So I recently discovered a new object. It's an object that fell from the future. Formed with folds, grown circuits, cracked with age. It was hard to tell, was this object organic or was it man-made? It had material properties we hadn't seen before. This discovery raised the question, what knowledge was used to make a once living object from the future? For one, we look at, in today's world, we look at something called origami science, which is the study of the mathematical principles of folding. It's the three volumes from the origami science, mathematics, and education conferences. The sixth one is this summer in Tokyo. I hope you come along and see it. Then we have to look at what else has come out in biological sciences, DNA origami. So it's a way of folding DNA to self-assemble nanostructures and machines. We've heard from many speakers about DNA origami and about uh, 3D printing of DNA, but what is the mechanism through which DNA can be made into structure? It's folding. So this piece of software, CAD DNano from the Weiss Institute, allows us to make all kinds of structures, and as we saw earlier. Also, we look at soft robotics, where folds become muscles that can expand and contract. So this idea of expansion and contraction, we always need something to go into a smaller space. So this is a simulation run in VoxCAD of three separate materials, a hard material, a soft material, and a muscle-like material. It's programmed in two very thin layers. These two layers allow us to automatically self-assemble a folded structure and to make it kinetic. Folds add a kind of fourth dimensionality through expansion and contraction. So this is the idea that makes 4D printing so interesting. It's the build area that you work in that is very small, but how to make larger objects, folding is one way to get around it. So the Ars Electronica Next Idea grant winners, Skylar Tibbetts and Marcelo Coelho, created Hyperform, a kind of idea using 4D printing, and also encourage you to visit the nervous systems uh, booth outside. They're using folding and compression to, to print their 3D dresses. Really amazing work. Now, I'd like to point you to Oribotics. So this is an area uh, of work that points to the nature of folding matter. You see the work uh, at the back of the room. I, I really wanted to show you this so you can see what they look like in their natural habitat. They like the dark. It allows you to focus purely 
on the sculptural form of the fold. The work is all about the fold. It's all about the movements of folds. They're art objects with seamless aesthetics. This idea of seamlessness, something perfectly made which has no beginning and no end, it has to have complex folds, though the interactions must remain simple. You can see here that our robotics is a result of 10 years of evolving knowledge. So these are the various types. You can actually see here a kind of simple evolution of uh, technologies as they became accessible to an artist. Laser cutting, laser cutting again, and finally to 3D printing. So you see the shift between 2007 and 2010 was where companies like Shapeways became available, where I could very easily get, get a product made. So, I want to summarize something for you. So folds allow us to code structure into matter. Folds allow expansion and contraction. Folds allow a seamless aesthetic. And folds are nature's way of coding matter. So I've got a demo outside. Come talk to me at my demo. I've actually got a, a brand new product. Why not? Uh, right here, it's uh, printed on Shapeways. It's using a new technique, that I, the same technique that I used to make the animation at the start. It's a technique called fold mapping. It allows me to map folded structures over any 3D, 3D uh, geometry. So, thanks very much.